and we're back yo guys welcome back to the channel it has been a couple days since i uploaded maybe about a week or so now i had to take some time off just to take a little refresher from skater excel for a bit but i'm stoked to be back but also not only that i want to think of a couple new ideas and that's what, exactly what i did so what we're going to do is we are going to host a skater excel competition this is my first time doing this this is not the first skater excel competition that's ever happened uh, people have done this in the past but this is going to be my first time hosting a skater excel competition all right but i want to have you guys included in the process too so leave a comment below of what you guys think the rules and how the competition should be structured i want to make sure that it's inclusive for every single person so if you're on stats with on a pc if you're on you know an old ps4 with no stats i want everybody in the skater Excel community to be included somehow regardless of your stats and stuff it doesn't really matter so we have to figure out a competition that's good for everybody and a decent prize pool that will be worth it and i'm thinking like a cash prize for example so definitely give me a follow on twitch if you want to keep up with that because we'll be doing the competition on my Twitch channel and I'll probably highlight it into a video later on for YouTube. But we need to kind of start off the process of what the competition will be about and stuff. So definitely leave a comment below what you guys think are some good ideas. And also stop at my Twitch channel today to help me figure out and help us figure out what we're going to be doing with this. All right, guys, let's get into the video now. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too much longer. So today we are checking out a new map by Goya. Le Dome La Nuit by Goya. So we have daytime and a nighttime version of Le Dome, which is a, I believe, a museum in France. Actually, let's just look around the map really quick because I don't know if he uploaded anything else or updated anything. And it seems like he added some little art pieces on the wall there. That's pretty sick looking. No one is born hating another. I can't read it. Looks pretty cool though. Let me know what that says in the comments, guys. I'm not actually sure. I think all this stuff we're looking at here is probably just a photograph or just a recreation of what is actually there in real life. This map is supposed to be a one-to-one -one recreation of the real Palace de Tokyo or whatever it's called. What's this called? I should know French, man. I live in Canada. I should be bilingual. This is what French class taught me in school. Palais de Tokyo. And in the background there, we have the Eiffel Tower and the waterfront looks pretty sick. Look at the water. Damn. And you got some naked ladies. Uh, cringe, dude. That lady looks like George Washington. <laughs> I don't know. So he did add some stuff. Oh, and puddles. I want to show you guys this really quick. If you don't know about this map, it has a couple features over here. These, these things. There's, there's a lot. Whoa. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? It has a clicky, a clicky sound to it now. That's cool. Um, let's turn this off and I want to read what the heck this says because this is all new to me. I haven't seen this before. Welcome to Le Dome, a passion project very near to my heart. Why Le Dome? Le Dome is one of the most famous French skate spots and it's my favorite place to skate at. I live a block away from it, so it's the spot I skated the most. What was your work process? I first got my hands on a laser meter and spent about eight hours measuring every angle what to then take home to recreate the whole spot with the perfect scale i then went out days later to the dome and spent a day over taking a thousand pictures to have realistic textures and 3d scan st statues i also went there to record myself skating around two hours in every nook and cranny of the place to have realistic audio references to create an echoing and reverb as accurate as possible how many hours have you put into this roughly 200 hours maybe it was just the love of learning and the love of skateboarding Maybe. I'm very proud of, of this project and I have hope and I hope that you'll appreciate the work. Hope you enjoy and have a good sesh, Goya. Dude, that is crazy. I learned a lot of stuff from this. He's measuring the dome with a laser meter. I also learned that I need to learn how to read. That was interesting. Uh, anyways, let's start skating around, guys. All we're doing today is checking out the Ladome map and that's it. That's it. Just, yeah, hanging out, having fun. Oh. Whoa, skating up here sounds crazy. I'll probably just turn off the audience so you guys can hear this. It sounds absolutely wild up here. And it feels really good to take a week off of Skater XL. I feel like I'm so refreshed in the game that I can, you know, try some new tricks. I feel like I was kind of like doing really repetitive tricks all the time. And now I feel like I have like more flow. I don't know. It just feels better playing the game now. Yeah! Woo! Not like heal crookies. What about like a nose blood down this? Whoa, I did not mean to go over that side. Alright. 
Also today, guys, I'm skating this Zero deck, if you haven't noticed already, but this was the first skateboard that I ever bought in real life. Like, this was my first pro deck that my mom bought me when I was like, I don't even know how old now, like 11 or 10 years old. It's like the old Jamie Thomas series. I found this uh, Jamie Thomas series deck on Mod.io. I'll leave a link below to that pack, because I think it's a really cool pack, and it has a lot of classic old Zero decks, which was my favorite company at the time. Jamie Thomas was my favorite skater. And yeah, that's that's kind of the reason why I bought that skateboard in the first place because Jamie Thomas was my favorite skater at the time. Around the time that Leap of Faith happened was when I got into skating. And I don't know why I'm ranting about that, but I thought that was a pretty cool thing to share with you guys, I guess. Try to do like a tray flip 50-50. Kind of like a 5-0 though. Big spin, no slide. Go a little, yeah. Almost hit that rail though. Can you grind these? Oh my god, that's amazing. Alright. Let's cruise down this way. Whoa. Um. Oh, what the hell is this? There's a staircase here, right? Do a switch 360 down that. Love those. Cruise down the sidewalk. Man, this looks crazy good. And just to think, too, we haven't even seen the night version of this. We'll have to check that out. I wonder if I can go up the stairs here. Watch this. Yeah. There's so many small little objects you can, you can skate. It's crazy. Like these back tail slides on these big high ledges like this. Try to do like a switch one. Ew. Mongo push. Just switch back tail. Ah. Yeah. Kind of. Those are fun. All right, try the switch one now. Switch is so hard for me to do though. I don't know. I can't ever do these. Okay, never mind. That was really sloppy though. Ah! Fat frontside flip. Just a little ramp. Whoa. Okay. Let's try to do. Uh... Damn. Let's get the park it's over here. Nike SB park. A little foot planny. Volley flip. Damn. Oh, messed that one up. Um, this is a long gap. Oh. Man, I feel really rusty. That week off made me feel like good at playing the game again, but it made me feel like like I suck. I need to learn how to play. Oh. <laughs> okay. Try to do a full cab. Keep it simple. Put a nose blunt around this. Nope. Go like. Oh, that was dope. Let's do some more manual stuff. Oh shit, <laughs> that was way too high. All right, let's go back. Ooh, almost had a full cab lip or a, wait, what? Full cab manual. One more time. Uh, a little bit too high in the pop there. Damn. Uh, we could do a frontside flip on that thing, didn't work. Whoa, that was cool. Yo, I wonder if I can stall this lady. Three, four pushes, and a pop. Yo! <laughs> nice, I'm sick. That was really cool. Nice little blunt there. Try to do like a... Uh... For some reason, this park reminds me of Letitia Buffoni's backyard skate park. I don't know why. Just the colors, I guess, the pink. Let's try to get rid of the skate park here so we can skate the middle. So we'll just go over the red spot in the skate park like that, because you already skated that. And just that should be gone. So you can spawn in stuff all at once, like I said earlier, or you could do it one by one. So we'll just keep that away so we can just get the street stuff. And let's try to hit this big guy. Try to hit this big boy. How about a nolly nose blunt? Whoa, to a rail? What? 
Man. Damn. Yeah, this is one of the best realistic parks in the game, man. This is so cool. Whoa. Pretty sure in real life this flat bar is actually there, too. Whoa, damn, that was sick. Oh. Oh, man. I keep falling on the random stuff. I need to, like, work on that. Oh, I didn't want to flip off the board there. This map is like, I love the reverb here. It just sounds crazy good. Well, what is this? Can you like, yeah. Try to do a grind on both sides of this thing. How do you do it though? Like, oh, what? So we're gonna power slide into it and then try to tail slide, no slide. Down it. Just try this. Okay, that was nuts. That was, <laughs> what the hell? That was wild. Gotta make it into a combo. Whoa, okay. <gasps> Damn. That was sick. Do some little slappy grinds on these dudes here. Look, Rick, I think you could probably like manual from pad to pad. Let's try to do like a. You can. Crook, nose manual, crook. I didn't mean to pop into the second one, but that was still sick. Oh, how about this? Let's do like crook, manual reaver. Uh, or I could go down the staircase too. That'd be cool. Yeah, kind of. Oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa, what the hell? That was the weirdest thing ever. I just wanted to spawn into the night version of the map quickly. I think we... There's not anything here different than the day version, but I, you know... It's a little bit harder to see. I think it looks cool, but I think it's not as easy to film a YouTube video here. So here's the night version if you guys want it. There's a link below to both of these maps. Link to everything you guys need, to my Twitch channel, to my Discord. If you guys want to come to my stats and settings, my camera settings and stuff. All of my mod settings are in my Discord. Like, that's where I keep them available at all times. So they're always updated. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe on today's video if you guys did enjoy it. Because I'll be making stuff like this in the coming days and weeks and stuff. So stay tuned for the next video because I'll have more information at that time for the competition. And yeah, other than that, guys, hope you have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.